she's from Nicaragua. I thought she was Persian love. Are we turning up? Or are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time. You know I'm partying alone. Just wanna chill with you. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, what's good? What's going on? It is currently 7.13 in the morning. And who the fuck am I? Who am I? I don't even be woke at this time, y'all. Like, I literally do not wake up until, like, 7.30, 7.40 in that window, which is me having like 15 minutes to get ready for work and i told y'all i'm really trying to like i'm trying to be better i'm trying to get on my zoom you know i'm trying to do better so i i told y'all i started setting my alarms really really early like i set my alarm like an hour early now that way i have time to actually click snooze i only click snooze once surprisingly like i wasn't even that tired so i just went ahead and got up like i got up so today i'm actually going to be to work more than on time which means i get to leave early this is what i this is what i used to do y'all but i started getting lazy and i stopped doing it so if i didn't say it is a monday happy monday i am in a good mood and honestly i just think that i don't know i just need to start showing god more that i'm more appreciative for my job because lately these days like i just be like uh it is what it is you know so i actually just want to start putting my best foot forward just saying everything that i do appreciate everything that i have just so on and so forth and also like another reason is because one of y'all commented on the last video and y'all was like thank you for motivating me to get up um on time for work <laughs> girl that even motive your comment even motive mo girl what motivated me to get up even earlier alarm still going off y'all because i be sleep right now i be knocked the fuck out i guess i did sleep for like a decent amount of time last night too because when i left chili's i literally edited not edited but uh, try to upload a video i had to wrestle with youtube yesterday after that i washed clothes i had to wash like three loads of clothes so that shit took me forever and then after that um I just kind of tidied up a little bit more, got my work clothes out for the week. I said we're going to do a Sunday reset, but I haven't quite, I, I didn't need to reset this week. Maybe next week we'll do a Sunday reset. But I'm just sitting here um, warming my car up because that's one of the things that I've been trying to get better with as well. Because when I'm late, I don't really have the chance or opportunity to really get my car warmed up. So that's what I'm doing. I like to sit for at least five minutes, like minimum three at uh, max, like five. So I really would like to just make sure my car is warmed up. Even though I did read like when you drive like newer cars, all you have to do is drive them and that's how they warm up. Um, but I do think that just sitting for a little minute get, get the ball rolling. So that's what we doing right now. I got a freaking bump on my chin. I think my period about to come, but I ain't been cramping lately, so I don't know what that's about. But it's definitely giving like period bump. I don't even know if y'all could see. It's just big. <laughs> and I got this big ass jacket on y'all because it's cold outside, girl. This whole week is supposed to be in like the 40s, and I don't mess around with the with the mess arounds. Let's see what it is. 34 it's 34 degrees in atlanta that's crazy girl hold on what to say severe weather when advisory these conditions are expected to last until 12 oh girl let me make let me pay attention on my way to work hold up 
Oh, and we are going to go get breakfast this morning. I decided that I was just going to eat out for breakfast and lunch today because I have a little bit of food at home, but I didn't. I didn't have anything that I really wanted to cook. And y'all gave me a lot of good suggestions on things to cook this week. So I'm going to go to the grocery store today to pick up a couple of items so I can have um, something to cook for the rest of the week. But as far as this morning, I'm probably going to go to Dunkin'. It's a drink that I've been wanting to try. But I, I don't know. I might need to get my coffee and a drink just in case because we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. So, um, I'm probably going to come back when I get to Dunkin' or, like, if I need to talk to y'all, like, if something come in my head on the way to work, I'm going to just pop back in. But I do want to focus, child, since they got this weather advisory on you. Comments and I don't care, that's when. I child, Dunkin' don't be playing. They got their Valentine's Day decor up. No games to be played. Okay. The drink I wanted to try was a velvet something. Oh, that don't even look good, though. One moment. That looks nasty. Let me show y'all. And I have a small caramel iced coffee with two creams and two liquid sugar. See, I was about to try it, but I'm not in the mood to waste no money because I've been spending money all weekend for one. For two, that shit look nasty. <laughs> And I know I'm not gonna like it. I just know I'm not. And today is Monday, and I just don't need to start my day off on on a not so good note. Okay, so we 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 stuck to the norm. Okay, that's what we doing. I got this deal. Um, I about to say Dior lip oil, girl. That ain't what I got on, girl. I got the Elf one on that I had bought yesterday. I showed y'all. Y'all didn't see it. What's wrong with the focus now? What's wrong with my focus? Uh 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 uh. Don't piss me off. <laughs> don't piss me off. Hey. Mm -hmm. Gotta make sure. Do y'all have jelly? Uh, grape or, or strawberry don't matter. Thank you. Thank you. You having to check my drink? Dunkin' like this. Do what they do sometimes, scrub. But they got it right. But before I pull off, I was trying to show y'all. I don't know why my camera not focusing. Like, what's going on? There you go. All right. So, this is the e.l.f. lip oil. And it's pretty good. I don't like the smell of it. I wish that it smelled good. Because one reason that I do like a lot of lip glosses is because they actually smell good. This one don't smell good. And, like, it's not like I'm, like I'm eating it. But, you know, when you put some on your lip, you can taste it. And it don't taste good either. So, I don't see myself using it too, too often. But, it does feel really good like it feels like it's really like moisturizing and nourishing my lips like I could literally it feel good but yeah we secured the bag and I got my coffee and I'm about to go ahead and head to the job so I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed Monday and I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys either on my break or probably after work child the weather really wasn't that bad on my way to work like as the weather channel was saying it wasn't giving that but it's probably is going to end up getting a little bit worse as the day goes on i think they called the kids out of school and everything child so i ain't gonna be too mad if like the lights go out or something while i'm at work <laughs> you know i ain't gonna be too mad about it but i let y'all know how it goes all right you all we off the clock today has been a great day honestly like this is like the best I was about to say Monday, but girl, that's probably why it's so good because we didn't start the week on a Monday. But it was a really good start to the work week. Like I told y'all, I woke up early. We just had a good morning. So mind y'all, I got to work early, right? And with that, I told myself like, oh girl, when I get there, like, you know, we're going to do what we got to do. And we leaving early too because we didn't get here early. Y'all, I'm so busy at work and like work is really just flying by for me. I looks at the clock, bitch, and it's like regular time to go. So I just stayed late and i'm really mad at myself because i should have been left but it is what it is like i got a lot of stuff done today which was good um unfortunately i didn't even get to edit on my break um simply because i just was so busy when i have days at work where i'm just so busy with work i actually need to take my break like i take my break instead of editing on my break i'll edit when i get home okay because i need like some some type of mental like break throughout the day so I actually took my break. I watched some TikToks. Oh my God, y'all. 
y'all know that dating TikTok that I be telling y'all about. When I tell y'all I was at work crying, I, I kid y'all not, tears coming down my, my face because I was crying laughing at that damn live today on my break. So I started watching it on my break and I literally watched it up until I left. <laughs> so literally like two, three hours. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it was a lady on there. She was like an older lady, and she was talking about how she wanted a man. And she was like, she wanted a man who um who got a small peen. She honestly don't even want it to work because she don't want to have sex all the time. She don't got time for that. And she just wild out, y'all. She was on there dancing and everything. It was just so funny. Like, it was so funny. And she had on a dress and a phone fell, y'all. Why wouldn't it saw up under the lady dress? I'm at my desk in tears, like, trying not to, like, laugh out loud because I didn't want nobody to hear me because it was, oh, my God, it was just crazy. But, um, yeah, we're in good spirits. I told you guys that I was going to cook. And y'all left me some really good suggestions. Let me see what I had wrote them down. So, I know somebody has said, let me see what y'all said. Somebody said red beans and chicken. And I love red beans, but I cannot make red beans like my people. Like, they just never come out right. They never be good. So, I'm scared of that. So, I'm going to say that for another day. I need to cook that, like, under my mama uh, supervision. <laughs> um, somebody said chopped salads. I'm actually getting some stuff for salads. I got that on my list. Um... Somebody said some of the chicken legs with rice. So I actually saved a TikTok recipe uh, for somebody some of the chicken. So I'm going to get the stuff for that. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to um, cook. I don't know how I feel about rice though. Like I'm not a rice girl. Like I think I might do mashed potatoes instead. I don't know yet. It depends. I'm going to see how I feel when I get in there. And then somebody said fish, yellow rice, and broccoli. I actually used to eat that a lot, a lot as well. And I haven't bought yellow rice in a long time because of it. So I might just pick up some yellow rice today. But then again, oh, I got dirty rice at home. Or do I want to eat dirty rice? I don't know. I'm outside of Kroger. It's freezing, y'all. It's so cold outside. Ain't no, no type of storm or nothing happened. So I don't know what that was about. But it is freezing. So let me hurry up and get in and out this stove. I ain't even finna take y'all in there. Cause like that's how fast I want to get in and out. And I'm gonna just show y'all all the groceries and stuff that I ended up getting. And then I'm gonna probably cook with y'all. Because this is technically gonna be my first time making some of the chicken. This way. Cause I've made it in a different way. But this way it's gonna be my first time. So we're gonna do it. Take y'all Oh my goodness, y'all. I told y'all that I was going to wait till I got home to come back and talk to y'all. But baby, this could not wait. This could not wait. Hold on. Because my eyes is watering, y'all. My hands are so cold, I could barely feel them. Like, <gasps> oh my gosh. So let me just tell y'all about the weirdest shit that just happened to me in the stove. So, and I kid you not, this is... The, Every time I come to this Kuroga, it's something like every single fucking time. I'm just bamboozled right now, dude. I'm just, I'm just taking it back. I'm taking it back. Like my my mind is all over the place. So I get in there, y'all know I got my little list going. So I'm focusing on my list because I'm trying not to get stuff outside of the list. I failed to do that. I was picking up all type of shit. Um, so. I get in the store and it's this young boy. I could tell he young. He look young. When I tell y'all that boy, I've been in the store for like an hour and no, probably like an hour. I was about to say an hour with some change, but no, probably just an hour. So, y'all, I'm in the store literally walking up and down the aisles. Literally every single aisle. He fake, he worked there. He fake sweeping. When I tell y'all this boy. Every aisle I go down, he's right behind me. I kid you not, y'all. I kid you not. I even started going the other way so he could stop fucking following me. And I, I didn't want to assume he was following me because he was sweeping. So I'm like, maybe I'm just like in his way. So I go the opposite way. No, the boy is fucking following me, y'all. Every time I turn my head, he's right there. And I'm just getting more and more uncomfortable, agitated, ready to go. Like, I didn't forget an item or two just because I wasn't trying to go back down certain aisles. I was just ready to get up out of there. So, he following me. That's number one. And this Mexican man, I don't know if he was following me or not, but he said something to me twice. And he, the first time he was like, oh my, so beautiful, so beautiful. And he walked past me and I didn't even look or, or pay him no mind. Like, I just kept looking at whatever i was looking at pass him up a second time he just say oh my so now i'm really uncomfortable in that bitch like i'm just picking up shit and i'm ready to go 
I checks out. Y'all, why is the boy with the broom walking in front where the damn cashier is at? Ain't you supposed to be sweeping? Ain't you supposed to be in this bitch sweeping? Oh my goodness, y'all, this jacket is so loud. Like, girl. But, okay, so I'm like, all right, maybe it's just a coincidence. He's not following me. Y'all, I walks out the door. Why do this boy come behind me following me? Out the door, y'all. Out the door, I swear. When I tell y'all now, now I'm all the way weirded out. Because you done follow me out the store. Bitch, y'all know my alarm bells already ringing. And one thing about me, I'm a connected to sex trafficking. <laughs> like, that shit not funny, but I'm so serious. Like, I'm so traumatized by those stories. Like, I really be on my P's and Q's when I be outside. So, just the slightest hint of somebody following me in a store like just kind of makes me feel weird but honestly like it really wasn't giving that but it was just it just made me feel very uncomfortable so i didn't walk to my car he walks in in the um what is it, the parking lot as well ain't you on the clock so he and then he walks past my car so i'm like bro what the fuck i'm like bro ain't no way this nigga following me so i'm i'm putting my groceries in the car but i got my back to the to the trunk so i can see what's going on while i'm putting the groceries in the trunk because you ain't about to just creep up behind me type shit so i finally um said something like i ain't even give him a chance to say nothing to me i literally said let me find out you following me he was like man i oh, man man oh, man i'm just trying to see what's up with you what I literally told him, I said, why didn't you just say something to me? Why are you following me? That's weird. Like, I literally said that to him. I was like, you being real weird. He was like, no, it ain't nothing like that. It ain't nothing like that. I just wanted to ask you something. I'm like, what you want to ask me? He was like, how old are you? I'm like, baby, I'm 27. I said it just like that because I could tell he's a young boy. I'm sorry that it's dark, y'all. It's clearly dark outside. But I could tell he's a young boy. So, um, he like, damn, man, I'm 19. But can I get your number, though? I said, no, baby, I, I know. Sorry. You, no. Well, can I at least add you on Instagram? I said, uh, uh, I just read the night. You were way too young for me. He was like, all right, all right, it's cool. Uh, don't worry about your buggy, I got it. Okay, that's all, that's all. But, like, I really should have told him, too, though, like, he don't need to do that shit to nobody ever. I don't care how young you is. That's some creepy ass shit. You do not follow somebody around a whole store for an entire hour. Faking like you sweeping. But you're really watching me the whole time. Like say something to me the first time you see me. Or even the second time if you ain't got enough courage to do it the first time. But following me around that store had me fucking weirded out. Like extremely weirded out. I told him like uh uh. If you a dude and you watching this. Please never ever follow a female around and then talk to her after a while. That shit is creepy and scary. Like beyond creepy and beyond scary. Nobody wants to feel like somebody is after them or trying to get them. Ever. Oh my goodness, y'all. Like I'm just so like my nerves still bad. I'm like, bitch, let me get on here and tell them what it just happened. I can't even wait till I get home. Okay, I just finished unbagging everything, y'all. Today gotta be the coldest day that it has been this whole entire fall and winter. It is so cold outside, y'all. Like, my jacket wasn't even helping me. I was shivering, okay? But let's get into everything I got, y'all. I didn't need, I got a bunch of nothing, and this shit was a hundred dollars. This stuff right here, y'all, a bunch of nothing, a hundred dollars. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right in. Let's start with what I'm gonna cook. Y'all, I see chicken legs in the um, Kroger every single time I'm looking for chicken. The one time I need chicken legs, they have none. Literally zero. They didn't even have the organic ones. Like, there was none. So, I had to opt out for chicken wings. I was going to get chicken thighs, but I didn't feel like dealing with all that fat and all that. So, we just got chicken wings. And then I had to get the organic ones because they barely had any of the other ones. So, yep, got that. Yes, I pay extra because I didn't feel like cutting up no bell peppers and all that. So I got the little mixed little thing. I want to say this was $3.99. Oh, girl, that's too much for that. I ain't gonna lie. I got an onion. I would have bought the diced onions, but those was $3.99 too. And I just said, yeah, you, 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 you pushing it. So I, I'm gonna cut the onion up. 
I got a cucumber um, because I told y'all like that's going to be my new little snack. So I got a cucumber and I got me some red wine vinegar because the other vinegar I got is too strong. So I think that would be that one will taste way better. I got some shrimp just because that's something that I feel like I want to just start cooking more. Um, this goes with um, the dinner or the meal for the night, which is the cream of mushroom and, and cream of chicken. This is what people use to make some other chicken. Um, I got some Greek seasoning. And I haven't been able to find Greek seasoning in a minute. So as soon as I saw it, I just picked it up. Even though I don't really need seasonings right now, I was just like, I need this one though. Because Greek seasoning, you could put this on anything and it tastes so good, y'all. I got some eggs and I decided to go with the smaller carton because every time I buy eggs, I never ever use them all. So I'm going to start getting the small ones from now on. I got me some poppies because I haven't had them in Lord knows how long. Like it's been forever. So it was just time for a re-up on those. We're trying something new this time. I got me some hot kettle cooked chips. I don't know why I just saw them. Sometimes, like, when I be in the store and I be hungry, I just be picking shit up. So, this is one of those kind of, you know, pickups. And then I got five Lunchables. This was another thing that I never really buy. But it's crazy because this was on every, like, grocery list I used to have back in the day. I would not walk out that bitch without some Lunchables because Lunchables was just my thing. Got me some snacks. I told y'all I've been picking out on the bad snacks, so I had to give me some um, healthy snacks. So... These the um Kellogg bars I was telling y'all about. These are actually really good. Like they don't even taste like low calorie or none of that. They so good. And then I don't think these are the healthiest, but they're healthier than what I was eating. Okay. And then it's the um sweet and salty Nature Valley bars. I actually used to really really love these, so I decided to get them. They're the almond ones. I got two packs of mashed potatoes because I don't know if I had rice. I do because in my mind I'm like I got rice at home and I'm gonna be pissed if I buy another thing of rice and I have some and then I was like these only um three dollars because I told y'all I couldn't decide if I was gonna do rice or mashed potatoes tonight so I was like fuck it let me just get the two little packs um so that's why I got those got these because I just be wanting to have something to drink that I could actually carry with me um I needed this to cook because I ran out just like the last meal that I cooked I needed more mayonnaise because, girl, what this, who didn't, who didn't charge my card? Well, Spargo. Apple. Apple, count your days. Stop taking money out of my account. For real. For real. Anyways, I got mayonnaise because I was trying to make me a sandwich the other day, girl, and I was, you know, we was down to the last. And then the very last thing I ended up getting <laughs> was some chocolate ice cream, y'all, because my period is due to come on any day now. And as soon as I saw these, I was like, oh my God, I got to try them. They look so good. It's the chocolate cookie crumble. Like, don't these look good? And, like, I'm a chocolate lover. Like, I love chocolate. Well, I ain't going to. I take that back. I'm a chocolate lover when it comes to milkshakes and ice cream. As far as, like, and brownies. As far as, like, actual chocolate candy and chocolate syrups and all that, no. But, uh, like, the ice creamy stuff, I fucks with it. So, that's why I got that. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, I'm lying. <laughs> Damn, I, I, I low-key, I can see why this might have been $100. I got me some fruit, so I got some oranges, and then y'all know what the other fruit is. <laughs> don't, don't even got to say it, but they're not green grapes this time. They're red grapes because I have been kind of getting tired of the green ones, so I just need like a new. You know, when you need something too much, you just be like, all right, on to the next. I need something else. So that's, that's it. So now I'm about to go ahead and get the cooking because... I'm ready to eat and I guess I'm gonna just make me cook in a montage because I feel like I didn't run my mouth all day I feel like the first day of these weekly vlogs always be like the longest portion of the vlog because <laughs> the rest of the days it just be like all right let's get it let's get it out the way um what else I needed to tell y'all about before I get the cooking oh I ate Zaxby's for lunch and I was gonna eat that salad but honestly I could wait until dinner that's probably about to go in the trash I came home to two weeks so they just sitting over there. Um, I don't know. I got to figure out what day I'm going to do them. One of them going to get done this weekend for sure. I'm probably not doing any weight collapse this week. So let me like wind down. I probably no. I'm going to keep these clothes on to cook. Because it don't make no sense for me to change into some clothes. Take a shower. Put on something else. Like it don't make sense for me to do all that. So um, let's go ahead and start cooking. 
Come and stop by 8 p.m. And send a text to your DM. Finally, for your fucking ass. looking like can't see I mean it looks pretty good looks pretty good I just need my chicken to be falling off the bang okay that's all I want I feel like it really could have sat in there a little bit longer because it's still a little thick I don't know how it's supposed to be because whenever I used to make some of the stuff I used to put it like basically in a pot and then like just use like gravy instead of like cream or whatever I think it's done though. It been in, it literally been in here for almost an hour. Okay, we're gonna try this piece of chicken right here. I'm so hungry, y'all. I ate half a salad today. That's literally it after breakfast. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this consistency. Next time I do smother, I'm gonna do gravy like I used to always do. Cause I don't know about this. And I should have made another side. I should have made like. Broccoli. <laughs> Broccoli just be my go-to because it's just so good. But this is what the plate look like. I yeah, know I'll be about to drop some shit. I mean, it look pretty decent. Like a good old country meal. Did I turn the oven off? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's taste it. Oh! Oh, it's really good. I seasoned this good as fuck too. Like the flavors is just bursting in my mouth. And them um, peppers and onions have really added the touch that it needed. If you know, I don't eat peppers and onions. So I was debating on putting it in there. But it's definitely needed. Because you could like, the flavor from it is really, really good. Let's see what the chicken here for. Alright, she low-key just came off the bone. This is good. Shout out to you for recommending this. Who, which one of y'all recommended this? Let me see. Shout out to Free J U Girl for sponsoring this meal. It's good. I'm going to have to go in and add this to the list. Ooh. All right, y'all. Good night. Because honestly, the longer time I take to eat and get this stuff together, I'm not going to want to edit. So I at least got to edit for at least 30 minutes. If I don't do no, nothing else, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Um... Yeah, for work. Good morning. Happy hump day. Your girl is up and ready for work. Child, I don't forgot I had these batteries on the charger and they charge really, really quick. So I was like, oh my God, let me help you take them off. But um, I'm dressed for work. Let me give you guys a little um outfit of the day. Let's see, can you guys see? Okay, so of course I have on a black shirt as usual. Um, but I have on these plaited slacks. Y'all have seen these before. I got this from H&M. If y'all need some good slacks, H&M got good slacks. They $19.99. They always $19.99. Sometimes they be on sale from what I heard. But they fit so freaking good. Like they, they, they got my shape, but it's still so much room in them. And I love it. But y'all would be so proud of me. Because guess what? Guess what I did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we made that bed. We made that bed. Okay. So the bed is made. Do I want to know? I'm not about to put no perfume on, girl. I don't got time for all it. But now I need to go ahead and make my lunch so I can go ahead and leave out this house. Because I just want to stay on my early streak. Y'all, and my chin is hurting so bad. I don't know. Can y'all see? Can y'all tell? It's so red. Uh, it hurts. Ooh. Like, why did my period be doing this to me? She ain't even here yet. I want to get right up, Poppy. Get right up, Poppy. Um. 
I'm gonna go poppy. Dang it, I forgot to. Oh my goodness, the one day, um, I mean, not the one day, but I forgot to get up and put my dang on sausage in the freezer. I mean, in the air fryer. Put it on thing. I'm about to eat that lunch for breakfast. That's what's, that's what's about to happen. My ugly little lunchbox. Do y'all remember how I was telling y'all that the uh, weather was supposed to be bad yesterday, y'all? So I guess it kind of was bad. Mind y'all, Georgia don't get that cold. So when it does, it acts as if like any other type of bad weather. So like people lights was going out yesterday. Every text me letting me know her lights had then went out. I'm like, oh my god, girl, you want to come over here? Because lights going out is scary. Okay, our generation is not used to no shit like that. We need lights for everything. And I was scared mine was going to go out. Like, I'm just like, oh, Lord, not people lights going out. But um, mine didn't go out. Thank you, God. And I was just thinking, like, it is so cold outside. That has to be just crazy. But she ended up telling me, like, they ended up coming right back on or whatever. But, y'all, why I wake up this morning and check the weather? It's 13 degrees outside. Let me see what it is now. What does that say? 13 degrees. Girl, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Let me put on Big Bertha again because I don't got time for that. Me and cold weather do not get along. I got to make sure I let my car warm up again because we're going to wait a good five minutes for real for real this time. Hell, yeah, really, ten, nah, I ain't waiting ten. I ain't waiting ten. We, we, we trying to overdo it. Then what am I about to eat for breakfast? Okay, I have for lunch 100%. I got fruit and snack. I could eat this Lunchable as breakfast, but the only thing with that, I feel like I'm going to be hungry right after that. So I just need one more thing to kind of like get me right, you know? So what else could that be? Let's put this in here. I don't know. I should be good. A Lunchable and the orange is really plenty, and then they got snacks at work if I'm just starving. So I think we're good. I feel like I'm missing something though. Like, why do I feel like I'm missing something? I always gotta keep a backup battery on me now. Damn, how you open this? All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and leave the house. Oh, and if I didn't say, this is the time that I be. This is before the time I be waking up. FYI, it's seven twenty-seven. So, proud of me. I'm going to try to do this until Friday. I'm, I'm trying, Lord. I'm trying. Y'all, why I need gas? I did not need gas last night, like, when I got out the car. But I should have known the gas light was going to come on. If you, um, if you know, you know, it tells you you need gas before you actually need gas. So, like, I could make it to work. But, like, I'm going to have to get gas as soon as I leave because I'm not stopping to get gas this morning. I'm just not. I'm so cold, y'all. I was literally having to drive like this when I first got in the car because it's freezing. Like, this is crazy to me. I can't. Mm -mm -mm. This is how I know, like, I couldn't ever live up north. Like, this amount of cold has me just so uncomfortable. If I could, I would be in the bed all day. Because who wants to go outside in this weather? And it's supposed to be really cold all weekend. I don't I might not be doing a thing like I did. I don't know. I don't know. My sister's supposed to be coming over this weekend, child. We're going to have to do something indoors. 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 Yeah, indoors. It's because it's freezing. And I don't know if it's because, like, I'm a little early. That traffic ain't really started yet, but, like, traffic really been decent for the past two days like your girl been merging over with ease and all because y'all know these bitches don't like to let you over in the morning but like that ain't been the case but look let me not speak too soon let me not speak too soon and that asshole. let that coochie breathe <laughs> y'all that's the first song that came on when i got in the car like why is y'all playing that at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> I guess that's a way to get the day started, child. Then y'all know after that, I had to put on my podcast. So I was over here listening to Mona. I literally just started it. I'm only like five minutes in. And every Wednesday, if y'all don't know by now, I literally tune into her podcast on my way to work. It's like my morning show. Like, I have to listen to her on my way to work. I usually, like, wake up and put it on and listen to it from the house all the way to work. It's so funny. It's so good, y'all. If y'all don't watch Mona, 
watch it. And I know a lot of y'all work too, so like watch it on y'all way to work or at work. When I tell y'all that girl will have y'all crying, laughing. It's so good. And she always got good guests too. I think on last week's episode, she ended up saying that she going on tour and they coming to Atlanta. But she was like, before she could even announce the Atlanta tickets, they was gone. And I was like, damn, even if I wanted to go, I didn't have no chance of going. Because I feel like I would have went. Because I had so much fun at Poor Minds uh, live podcast show. It was a time. Like, I would really do it again. I think they're supposed to be doing another live show in Atlanta, too. They're still my number one favorite podcast. Only because, like... That's the first podcast that I ever watched and really tuned into and really got to know them. Like, I love them. So, like, they number one, Mona number two. But Mona funny as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Mona shit might just be funnier than poor mine's. But both of them so, so good. Other than that, I haven't watched any po- other podcasts. I tried a couple of the ones that y'all told me about. But I don't know. Like, it it takes, I don't know what it takes for me. But a lot of stuff don't catch my interest. And I think also it's because a lot of people be talking about the same stuff. And it just be like, I want to listen to somebody who, who talk about something different for one. And if you is talking about the same stuff, you need to just add, add your razzle-dazzle to it. Because if not, I just don't. I don't want to watch that. And that's just me. But let me get back to my podcast. I'm tired of screaming over this damn loud-ass highway wind. It be too much sometimes. Um, Taraji spoke up for the girls because they didn't, they were driving themselves in rental cars and they didn't have food on set. I thought that was like, because cause the That's only time that I had done, she shouldn't be driving. She should be in the back of a black fucking truck and it should be a nigga rubbing her feet because she's fucking Taraji P. Henson. What are okay. we talking about? Yeah, you like, starring in a movie and you driving yourself to the movie. That's like. And then it's a rental car. I'm curious. Did they get Taraji in Subaru? Yeah. <laughs> or did they rent her Benz? Like, yeah. Bro, this you girl is be, really dope. Either I get gas every week now. Nah, like, what's going on? Oh, y'all didn't got back in the car trying to get to the camera. Why the? Why did I forget to turn my car off? And I'm literally just watching the thing fill up as the car go. As the car filling up, the thing is filling. I was about to turn it off, but then I was like, no, let me not fuck with it. I'm gonna just let it be. <laughs> I've done this before, not in this car, but like. Ain't that dangerous? Girl, I am out here playing. I need to pay more attention for real, for real. I hate this angle. I'm looking crazy. And uh uh-uh, uh, see, I knew this thing be stopping before it's time because we had 39 on one, but it ain't feel all the way up. It got like a little notch on me. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. Hold zoin, hold zoin. <laughs> so, let us pray. <laughs> I still like for the car all the way up, even after I made it go some more. Oh, well, anyway, it took us about $40 to fill up, which is great. I think I say this every single time. I just can't help it, though, because when I got this car, so I many it's almost like people was discouraging me from getting the car. Like, whenever I was tell, like, specifically with my people, or, like, one of my people, are you... Yeah, when you get your car served, your oil changes ain't about to be this much no more. You got to think about all the gas you got to put in there. Like, nothing about if you want it, just do it. Never that. Never that. It was always this, 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 and that. But let me tell you something. You don't need approval from nobody to go out here and get what you want. Because at the end of the day, it's going to work out how it's supposed to. <laughs> nah, for real. I just turned something so little into something serious. But for real, for real, I really be thinking like, it just... You know, stuff really be crazy and people really just don't be out here believing in you for real. I remember when I first moved out, chill. They say, oh, she gonna be back. <laughs> Ask me how I been back. Not by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> you know, God forbid anything happen that I have to go back, but still, you know what I'm saying? The support just, you know, used to be lacking, child. But that's why I go so hard these days. I had to put y'all on the mount. But it feels good to be able to leave work and it's still daytime. I mean, like, the sun about to go down in a little bit. But it's sunny outside. It just gives you, like, it gives me more, I don't want to say energy. What is it called? I don't know. Like, 
it motivates me more that it's light outside because now I feel like my day is not gone. Whenever I would leave work and it'll be dark as hell, like pitch black, it just made me feel like my whole day went well. Like, I sat behind a desk all freaking day. I do not like that. Like, so I'm happy that it's about to start getting warm. Ah, springtime is approaching my favorite freaking season. I was about to say holiday. Favorite freaking season because it's my birthday season. But I just love spring because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It may be a little rainy, but it be beautiful. All uh, the flowers is blooming. Like spring is just like my favorite, favorite, favorite. And I'm just excited and I'm happy. I thought that was the police squad. You got to keep your eyes peeled. Got to keep them peeled. But, um, y'all, today was good. I ended up leaving work um on time i got there early left um early so that was good but i also got to edit on my break i ended up editing like half of my video so now i gotta edit the other half as soon as i get home and then i'll probably upload it tonight as well and just make it public in the morning like that's what sounds best which is gonna be thursday I try not to go no more than three to four days in between posts. So it's three. I always know it's gonna be like a three to four time frame. Now sometimes it might not be that. Now don't 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 get the uh DM in me now. Please. For real though, y'all. Like I, I it's cool. Like I know people be worried sometimes, but y'all be DMing a bitch when she ain't posting a day. I be like, hold up now, wait a minute. But yeah, it's gonna be like my goal this year is like to not go no more than three to four days to post unless i'm clearly like taking a break or something i feel like whenever i do get ready to take a break i just let y'all know and then we'll just go from there i still need to figure out more content ideas i don't know yeah bringing it back to my day it was good no complaints for real work was smooth work has been smooth a lot lately like i think at one point i was really going through it with work and i couldn't really talk to y'all about it like i would just be able to talk to my friends about it and i would just feel like i was going crazy but like lately work has been good and i think that's because i haven't been letting it get to me i haven't been worried about you know what i'm saying like if i could do it i could do it if i can't i can't i just cannot let work stress me out and like i just have to go with the flow at the end of the day so it's been good it just you know being optimistic actually works and things start to get better this sun is really killing me okay i'm about to um <laughs> i'm about to just watch a youtube video on my way home that's my way of just like not being on my phone while i'm driving because i have a bad habit of like checking my phone a lot like text and stuff and i need not to do that so the way that i don't do that is i just watch me like a youtube video or i watch somebody tiktok live those be getting me through my whole ride home without me even thinking twice about like you know checking a text or something well i was watching a video at work i was watching um what's the true crime girl what's her name girl eleanor yep I was watching her so i'm about to finish watching this one it's the sex drugs and punk rock video i don't know if any of you guys watch her i'm real big on like true crime and like true crime and makeup girlies i think i told y'all that so i'm about to watch that hey good morning y'all y'all let a weird angle because i left the tripod in the kitchen and i ain't had time for all of that but we're dressed i got on this black i mean we're not black i got on this gray long sleeve just regular shirt i think i got this shirt from like rainbow years ago and i just wear it as like a work shirt and then i got on some green slacks i got these from each of them as well and then i always put some socks on because it's freezing outside and i put my i think i've been telling y'all this already but i don't know i've been trying to make sure i tell y'all every single thing but um today i woke up a little bit behind the time i've been waking up lately but not like extremely behind it like i woke up maybe 10 minutes behind the time but i'm still early so that's good i finished editing my video last night which is great so all i have to do is literally upload it because i did the intro part last night and that's usually the part i always wait to do and i just gotta make a thumbnail make my thumbnail work making my thumbnail usually takes me like five minutes or less depending on like how i want it to look okay cannot forget the flash drive or the hard drive if you do youtube get you one of these okay you need it all right 
child look at all this stuff next to the bed one thing about me i'm gonna have something to drink next to the bed <laughs> and i ate this last night for dinner child i never be wanting to eat like food food when i get home i always just want a little snack and then i go to sleep let me see if they remember to pick up my trash because i put it out last night Y'all, why is it? Let me show y'all. Wow. Wow. It's getting real aggravating at this point. But I ain't gonna stress it because I already told Dad. It's gonna sit there to somebody come and pick it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send them a picture of it just like I've been doing. And I ain't gonna say shit. No words. Just a picture. Because I'm tired of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. I can't wait to move, girl. Isn't it so crazy, y'all? I have been looking at apartments every single day. Like, every single day, I kid y'all not. It's like almost one of my favorite pastimes now because I'm just trying to figure out what I'm about to do because I literally don't know. And ain't no apartments hitting on nothing for real. Like, where's my scissors at? My kitchen scissors, I ain't been able to find them. But, like, um, the apartments ain't hitting on nothing these days. Like, I am just not messing with nothing that I've been seeing. Oh, here they go in the sink. Ooh, okay, I get so easily distracted. My eyes are watering real bad, too. These lushes is on their last leg, babe. I'm, I'm about to start pulling them off. And I'm trying not to do so, but I'm about to. But yeah, y'all, like the apartment scene is just crazy right now. Everything's sky motherfucking high. I mean, as usual, but it's even higher than when I was looking last time. A part of me was hoping that this time around, this would be cheaper and it's, i mean i still gotta wait a couple of months but if you know you know everything goes up in a um so oh girl i almost done burnt these everything goes up when it gets hot outside so right now the rates is probably really good somebody asked me was i gonna break my lease and i would but i'm not coming out of my pocket a couple months of rent and a new rent like that just sounds irresponsible to me i just can't do that but our time is coming you know i'm gonna stay patient they prayed up because the time is coming all right so i got my lunch my drink my snack my grapes i need one more snack i always do grapes and another snack but then again i told myself i was going to stop bringing snacks to work because they buy snacks for us and it's like why eat up all my snacks that i'm buying when i can eat the snacks that they're providing um yeah i think that'll be I think that'll be way smarter and then my snacks will last way longer. Okay, it's time for me to leave the house. Happy Thursday. We are almost done. We have today and a half a day left. We are going to get through. We're going to make it through. Today's going to be good. Today's going to be positive. Today's going to be productive. Okay? So I'll see y'all later. It be so cold in the morning. I don't my heater. Might have made me some hot chocolate. I look he wanted coffee, but we're not gonna do that. <gasps> I could have used milk. We had milk. I use water. Oh well. I'm probably not even gonna drink all this. Oh child, it feels so good to be back at home in my bed, y'all. What time it is, girl? 6.55. It feel so good. Like, I'm about to just sit back and relax <laughs> and watch some TV. I'm not even finna edit because I literally dedicate every single day to editing. And I think Thursdays is going to be my day that I just say no editing. Unless, like, I really, really need to. I'm just going to take a chill day. I've been editing every single day. I got a vlog up today, so we're good. We're good. So I got me a little Lunchable. These really coming in clutch. Like I'm going to have to start buying these because whenever I get home from work, I don't be in a mood to eat like a hefty meal. Um, Like, you know, like what I cook. Like I eat that for lunch. So like I really be good by the time I get home. I just be needing like a little snack and then I be good for the rest of the night. I ate a Lunchable last night. I was good. I wasn't even hungry after that. I didn't need no snack for the rest of the night. I was good. So that's what I'm about to do again. Eat me a little um, Lunchable and then drink me a little Powerade. <sighs> Still dreading working a five-day week though. Like I just, 
I just got so used to not having to do that, and I love this so much that like now I'm back to it. I'm really starting to be like, what the like, what the hell is going on here? It's just no way. Like I was, I, like I was being funny when I said, like, I don't see how people do this for twenty and forty years. I'm dead serious. There's no way in hell I would be no. I would not be punching nobody clock for twenty years. I I don't know how long I'm gonna keep doing it. It's gonna be a minute. I'm still young. I'm still new in the game, fairly new. But twenty years, <laughs> no ma'am, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. It will not be happening. It just won't happen. <sighs> Since I'm not editing tonight, I really could be going through my emails though, cause I low key got a lot of emails that I haven't checked. I've been having emails coming through all week. Sorry, I see all them blue dots. I can't stand when the same companies be emailing me, y'all. And it be like companies that I just don't see myself working with. This is because like I'm never about to do something just for some money. Like this, um, it's a, um, what is it? Uh, what, what them things you girl, you put in your eye? I can't even think about it. I mean, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, um, contact lens company. Keep trying to work with me. Y'all, I don't wear glasses. I don't wear contacts. I never really ever had to wear contacts or know how to wear contacts. Damn sure I ain't wear no damn color contacts ever in life. So I'm not about to start now for a check. Like, I'm it's just certain stuff I'm not going to do. Child, I'm just ready to see dossier in these emails, okay? Where you at, Buki? Where you at? <laughs> for real. I was about to sit in there on the sofa for a little while, but I'm tired. I don't even... I was about to, like, chill, watch some TV in there. Because I be trying to be in my living room more these days. Because I'm one of those people I've always been, like, a bedroom kind of girl. Even growing up, I used to sit in my room all day and night. You could really get me to sit in the living room. So, like, now that I have my own living room, I be trying. But it's just something about me just being in my room. Like, my room feel more homey. I made my living room feel homey, but I still just feel like... I don't know if I'd be wanting to sit in there for real. Unless it's like daytime, then I'll have no problem with sitting in there. Oh my goodness, did y'all hear that they canceling rap shit? I am pissed about that. I have been waiting on a new episode for weeks and I'm wondering why they never came on. Everybody in the comments was like, damn, HBO can't stand Issa. They cancel everything she do. What do I want to watch? I feel like I want to watch a Tubi movie. Something real juicy. My dad going to chin still hurting. Period ain't came on yet. Like, where's you at, ma'am? My app said it was supposed to start yesterday. My app been, like, off, off for the past two to three months. And, like, I don't even be doing nothing for the motherfucking be. I ain't been stressed out either. Like, I don't know why I've been not on schedule. Or the app just off. Like, I don't know what it is, but it needs to get together. Because I like to be able to predict what's going on over here. Oh, they got acrimony on here, girl. I could watch that, but I don't feel like being aggravated right now. Yo, man. I need a nice hood movie. Yeah, I need a body to kill for. Oh, I saw that already. How you doing, beautiful? What's your name? My name's Chandler. Why is it that all the the Tubi movies be based in Detroit? Like, is Tubi a Detroit thing? Like, did it start there? It's like the people who own Tubi from Detroit. Like, how is that? Because, like, every time I watch, like, one of the little uh, Juliet movies, it's never nowhere else. Let me tell y'all what they watch on Tubi. The movie Get Paid. It's an Asian girl. It's, like, the main character, y'all. Go watch that movie. Go watch that movie. That's the best movie I have seen on Tubi thus far. Like, it's hood. It's still ghetto as hell. But it's so good. Like, it's so freaking good. Y'all need to go watch that. Did they put Secret Society 3 up? I could watch that. Let me finish eating my little lunch, which um, I'm definitely don't have nothing to talk about. I'll see y'all tomorrow on Friday. Good morning, y'all. It's Friday. I actually been waking up early. Well, I woke up early just as I have all week. But I'm definitely just laying in my bed because... It's no point in me getting to work early today because we already get off early. So, it's no getting off earlier than early. So, I'm going to get there on time. So, that means I had just like an extra, uh, bit, extra like 20 minutes really just to lay here. So, that's exactly what I'm doing. What time is it? Um, I'm going to get up in maybe another five minutes. I'm going to stay here for another five minutes. I don't know why I've been going to see what this TV on, y'all. Like.
I've been having a big problem with doing that. And I never, ever, ever used to fall asleep with my TV on. Like, I used to hate falling asleep with the TV on. And I just, I don't know. I have built this habit of falling asleep with it on. I got to stop that. Ooh. It's cold in here, though, bro. It be freezing. I keep that thing on. <laughs> I keep that fan on year round. I don't care. I don't care how cold it is. <laughs> when it was 13 degrees outside, guess what that fan was on? It was on. Wow. I just remember like Fridays, I could just lay here. Lay here until I was ready to get up. Uh, if you're tired of me complaining about it, oh well. I don't, I'm, I'm not over it yet. I'm not over it. <sighs> Hopefully today goes by super fast. My sister's supposed to be spending the weekend with me. I wonder what time my mama bringing her. I'm sure she get out of school at like 2 o'clock. So it probably ain't going to be till later. So after I get home from work, I should have a little time to just chill. Be all to myself. Why well, to take this purple patch off? I put a purple patch on last night. Y'all, look at how white it is. I know they had a lot of pus in that big ass bump. It won't really hurt as much no more. It was, it was hurting real bad for the past couple of days. Let me get up, put some clothes on. Um, best thing about Fridays is casual. So, honestly, I'm really about to throw on some sweats and see if I could slide through with that. Because I don't feel like putting on no pants. I don't feel like putting on no clothes. Y'all, why well, I've been talking to the camera this whole fucking time and it wasn't recording? Anyways, I got on here to show y'all my pimple patch. Ooh, it look nasty. It looks so nasty, bro. I'm about to take it off, but I was telling y'all that I ended up putting on jeans anyway because I couldn't even. Ooh, this hurt. I couldn't even find the damn. Ugh. I couldn't even find the damn sweatpants, y'all. And I literally just folded them. My y'all, I just washed all my clothes, folded all the clothes and everything. And I don't know where them sweatpants at to save my life. I literally looked in the closet in the drawers. By the bed, I'm like, where is the sweat? So I just put the jeans on, child, because it wasn't meant to be. Ooh, we okay. I'm gonna leave that alone. I was about to try to like get the rest out, but we're not gonna do that this morning. We're not gonna do that. Let's put on some deodorant. Oh, wait, she my period might be coming on today for real. I'm cramping for real, for real. She better. Cause I'm tired. I remember last time I was cramping. I cramped for days and period still ain't come on. My bad, y'all. It just got real dark. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm in here making me some breakfast. I'm making me some waffles and some sausage. It's time for this week to come on off too. It still look kind of good, but it's just time. I've been having this week on for a minute. But I made waffles and sausage. I like my waffles hard crunchy that's how they need to be i really like it's i'm like in my mind it's friday i don't need to bring nothing with me because as soon as i get there i want time to go so fast it's time for me to leave before i even think about even being hungry again so i'm about to eat this in the car then um maybe i have a snack at work and i told y'all they got snacks so i'm not even gonna bother bringing any of my snacks i'm gonna leave my computer here it's no point in me trying to hassle and edit a little bit while i'm at work doesn't make sense so I'll probably edit when I get home. Oh, y'all, while I was scrolling on TikTok this morning, my whole timeline is about the girl Morgan. If you be on TikTok, then you know the girl who um who had the um what is it called? From a, a random man in Atlanta, like her baby daddy was a boy that she, you know, went to school with and all that. And she be calling him random man from Atlanta. She made a video basically saying that they're co-parenting now he came down they took gianna to build a bill blah 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 and it's so crazy like majority of her comments is so negative people really making videos and think speeches about this girl's situation i can't stand the internet sometimes because why is y'all so negative about somebody else's life if that girl want to go back and be with her baby daddy, that's her business it don't matter how invested you was because why are you so invested in a stranger's life anyway don't get me wrong yeah the internet is for us to share our lives but you should never be so invested in somebody's life that you real deal ass mad that she back doing whatever she want to do that's that girl life and that's that girl baby daddy um plenty of y'all go back to y'all damn baby daddy you don't even gotta be a baby daddy. Y'all go back to the nigga after he done did you all types of dirty. Like, 
it just be so aggravating to me that people really feel like they could say and do whatever they want to other people. And like I said, yeah, like it is social media, the girl share her life, but I feel like that, that that's her business to share. And if you don't like something, keep scrolling. Like that is so weird to me. I just don't feel like I would ever be a person to comment on people's stuff in a negative way. Like that is just girl, if I don't like something, I'm gonna simply unfollow you. And if if I'm bothered enough, I will block you. And I have blocked plenty of people. People that I didn't even dislike. I probably just ain't like a video or two. And you keep posting the same content that I don't like. I'm just going to block you. Because I don't want to see it. Like, stuff like that make me not want to be on social media. Because it's so negative. Like, y'all leave that damn girl alone. She's already been through enough. The girl car got stolen. If y'all know who I'm talking about, what y'all take on it? What y'all think about that? Because that shit is crazy to me. Like, and that's why I don't be wanting to tell too much of my business on the internet. Because, bitch... One thing about me, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be um responding. Cause I be saying all the time, oh, if I get negative comments, I'ma just erase them. They don't be too bad, so I be erasing them. But a bitch gets do do a little too much for me, I'm gonna have to start responding. Cause in her situation, she need to eat all that ass up. Let me stop talking shit and go on and go. I ain't I ain't really got nothing to talk to y'all about today, honestly. I'm just happy the week is over. Thank you, God. I made it to an, uh, the end of another week. I am so thankful for you guys. I love y'all so freaking much. Like, I can't even describe it. I literally, like, I'm thankful. Simply put, I'm thankful. So, I'm about to go ahead and head to work. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Because, I mean, it's technically the weekend after I get off work. Um, Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 10 Kizzle. So, let's get us there. And I'll see y'all on that next what? On the next Vlogster. Bye.